Yo, what's up guys? My sample pack is finally out. It's called Aurora DMB Volume 1. The link is down in the subscription uh, below. Make sure to check it out. It contains 92 presets in total. For instance, some Reese bases, Dirty bases, Liquid bases. So yeah, if you want to improve your production quality, make sure to download it. Thank you guys. Yo, what's up guys? Do you even still remember me? I know it's been a couple of days, weeks. Almost, I think longer than one month. Ah, oh, fuck man. Oh, I feel really bad. Uh, I really need, need to make uh, more tutorials. Yeah, I was also really busy with um, with making Deep House. That's another genre that I really like to make. So uh, I was uh, just experimenting a little bit uh, with this genre. So I also planned uh, to make a tutorial on, uh, on Deep House as well. Anyway, the most important uh, thing, uh, let's go to the track. Yeah, I think that this track uh, has a really nice atmosphere. The bass lines, for instance, it feels a little bit wavy, like you're on a wave or something. I don't know how to explain, but... So yeah, let's go uh, to how I made uh, this track. At first, uh, for the intro, I used some Julia Klein vocals. Uh, Julia Klein is an artist from the Netherlands. Uh, she has a really nice voice. If you don't uh, know her, you really have to look her up. She has really nice uh, atmospheric uh, deep house music. But uh, yeah, I made a drum and bass uh, remix from it. So yeah, at first um, I used the vocal. It sounds uh, like this. Then next I consolidated a pad uh, from Plugin Hive. Yeah, it's just an A, a G and an E. Then next for the intro, um, we have this uh, kind of drum loop uh, and I automated it. Um, it's just an EQ automation. So it opens up uh, until the drop that it's over here. Here you can see that it opens up. Then next I added um, another atmosphere. Yeah, then next I added some effects. Some white noise. Then I forgot uh, the bass lines uh, in this part. It's a really nice sub bass. So how did I make this? Um, add an oscillator A on the Z7 crude. Switch it down one octave. Put the unison on two. Um, then the envelope, you can make um, yeah, this kind of pattern by switching these knobs. Then the LFO1, uh, it, it has this kind of shape. Then next I added some macros. Uh, for instance, this macro I added to the distortion over here. Then the second macro, I um, added it to the wavetable position. The second macro, I connected it to the wavetable position. Uh, then the next macro, I um, connected it to the cutoff. Put uh, the MG Low 18 on uh, on this uh, sub bass. Then the last one I added it to the wetness of the distortion, as you can see over here. So yeah, not not that uh, difficult. It's a really simple but a very dope uh, bass. Then all together it sounds like this. Then for the next part, I loaded in the vocals, as you can hear. And the next one, I pitched them down. Uh, how did I process these vocals? Uh, at first, I uh, loaded in an EQ 
to uh, cut uh, some of the lows off. The next uh, Fab Filter Pro C2, it adds a little bit of compression to the vocal. So the peaks are reduced and the vocal is nicely uh, compressed. Yeah, then next I added another EQ equalizer. I switched down some of the low mids because they sounded a li little bit harsh. Okay, let's go uh, to the basis uh, of this track, uh, guys. At first I loaded in uh, some steps. The first step sounds like this. And it follows uh, actually the main bass line, which is over here. It goes from E to D to C to A. And as you can see, it goes from, uh, from E to C, this one. So that's in key uh, of the main bass. Then next I added another step, which sounds like this. Also follows the same uh, notes from E to C. Then next I added an atmospheric lead, uh, which uh, sounds like this. And it also follows uh, the main bass. Then of course uh, the main bass, uh, it has this kind of pattern. And over here I made a really nice uh, pattern, which sounds uh, pretty cool. It sounds like this. Then next I made a very cool step at the beginning um, of each uh, four bars. It's pretty cool uh, and it's just an E, an E4 and an E5 layered, which uh, sounds like this. And then next at the end uh, I made a nice uh, Reese bass, which uh, sounds like this. Then uh, next uh, drums, uh, how did I make this? Uh, at first I loaded in three kicks, with a, which I cut out of the main uh, drum loop. The main drum, drum loop is this one, and this one is a top loop. Together they sound uh, like this. Really nice flow. Here I added some automation. And then next some effects. So after every uh, four bars I add um, a riser. That makes the transition and switching uh, from energies in your track um, more smooth. So yeah guys, I will not go into detail uh, for all the bases and sounds uh, made in Serum. I will make a different uh, sound design in Serum uh, tutorials uh, very soon. For instance, liquid bases, uh, how to make uh, some recognizable leads or ARPs or something. I think that's something uh, that uh, you guys would uh, really help. Because at first when I started making music, I didn't know which uh, sounds to use. I only had the, the stock uh, sounds in Serum. But they were very uh, sketchy and yeah, I don't know. It's, they are just not the good sounds for a drum and bass. Talking about uh, sounds in Serum, I have my own uh, made uh, preset pack in Serum. Don't forget to check it out, it's down uh, below in the subscription. It includes a lot of sounds which will help you out uh, with making a liquid drum and bass or for instance a jump up drum, drum and bass. It's only uh, 10 euros or something, uh, come on guys, that's really a steal for around 100 uh, presets. Anyway guys, uh, don't forget uh, to like and uh, subscribe uh, to this tutorial. Um, see you guys uh, next week or something. No, it won't be a month. Uh, I will be back uh, way sooner. Exit.